Hey, what's up guys and welcome, welcome to something a lot different on my channel today. What is this? It's Pez 2016, uh, the demo. So I thought I'd actually pop it in. Well, not no, I didn't pop it in. I downloaded it last night. I've played around about two hours, so I've got a good understanding of the way it plays. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. And I'm not even taking into account that I'm actually a FIFA player. I'm just going to sort of compare it to maybe a past few FIFAs, just so the majority of you guys will understand what I'm actually saying. So I'm going to be buying Munich versus Roma just uh, just just for the lols you know uh, Robin is actually so good on the game but you want to be going to game plan because some reason whoa these are outdated now nah, I'm only I'm only joking they are pretty outdated though the graphics are awful one thing I will say is navigating around the players like this you never even know which one you're like you, you're clicking which is very very poor and I swear these graphics are like the same as the one they were using on 2015 so yeah you know that's not cool <laughs> but I don't even think that, yeah, I don't think they've updated it. And all of the good players that you want to be using are on the bench. So I'm going to switch out uh, Xavi Alonso and then mm, Benatia. We want to use Benatia for Dante. So once you've, uh, once you've, do, what, see what I mean? Once you've done that, I've got all the good players. I'm going to keep Lewandowski on because he's beast. So my first impressions when I was actually playing this, I thought menu screens, not, not the menu screen that we just saw, these menu screens, how they're in the tunnel, it looks good. Like the player faces aren't overly brilliant, but it's a big improvement to what we've seen in the past from Petters. And the, and the fans look quite good. No real 2D. I know they've sort of duplicated a lot of them, like, like FIFA do really. Um, so that's not too great, but they look good. They, <laughs> it looks okay. We've got some mental fans over here turning up, man, for Roma. But we're by Munich, and we've got a win. So what I actually do to tackle is, it feels like FIFA 10, you know. Like, you have to hold A, and then with these controls, and then just press A again, and then it seems to tackle. Or well, that's the way I've been tackling it anyway. But I've given away a free kick here. One thing I will say, though, is that I would have much preferred sort of this build of the Pez back on well before they brought in the 360 dri uh, dribbling on fifa and then we would have had a proper sort of test to see which one was better but you can't really compare the two because fifa has just come so far and it's really really fluid in the attack and what they're doing here what the goal jesus what a free kick who was that oh it's totty please don't get out your iphone god's sake um but yeah no oh he has oh my god he has they're tracking me I think I feel like I have got a lot of practice in, and that was a good, clean tackle. That's what we want to see. Go on, one to it. Keep going. Go on, Ribery. It's, uh, it's a little bit dodgy to run. Like uh, The running animation is a little broke, and the way they just like track you, it's, I don't feel like I've got full control of my actual players, but it's good. That's a... Oh, that was nearly a good ball. Damn. Oh, slide tackles. Slide tackles feel great. Go on, Rib Go on Robin. Take the strike. Uh, half time, and I am currently losing against Roma. And I was doing so well before. I, I do I do like when you score the net animation. Oh, that's a great challenge. Go on, play him through. Go on, Lewandowski. Smack it. Oh, what a strike. So you did see the animation of how the net sort of bulges when the, uh, the ball comes in. And that's what I like. The animation of the ball and the net. Those are great. But then again, like one. Once you've been playing it for over two hours you get used to that and then you're more focused on sort of the gameplay itself and it's not that great uh, so yeah it's, it feels like FIFA 10 I'm gonna be honest it does feel like FIFA 10 and that's probably what kept me playing last night because I just love the old-school feel of it Diago find him in the middle oh Schweinsteiger was nearly there damn I'll come in with the slide oh that's a dirty challenge great flick oh Robin just can't get space. And another slide tackle. They're just allowing me to do this right now. I'm being so dirty. Robin skipped past his man. Robin with the strike outside the box. What a finish from Ian Robin. Great goal. And the, like, the player faces, they look good on the replays. Yes. Uh, but in-game, not so much. But that's a great goal. What a, what a strike. Go on, Robin. Let's see if we can do some step overs. Oh, that was a lovely cut inside. Robin with the strike outside the box. Oh, 
Full time it is, guys. 2-1 against Roma. We had some pretty decent goals and some nice shots are on target. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the goal that I scored when I was just playing offline. Uh, I think I was using Ro... Uh, no, it wasn't using Roma. I was using France and it was an awesome build-up goal. And while I do that, I'm going to break down the sort of the demo for you and give my honest opinion on it. So, is it a competitor to FIFA? No. It needs a lot of work gameplay-wise. Like, when you do come from FIFA and you've had, like, full 360 dribbling control and then you come to this, it is basically, like, dropping back to FIFA 10. Like, it is a FIFA 10 build of pretty much, like, holding A to tackle. You don't really have full control in defense, nor do you have it in the attack. One thing I will, I will say, though, that I really like is when you do strike the ball, you have a lot of conviction and you feel the weight behind it, like the flight of the ball I like. Um, the net animation is awesome. Celebrations are great. But the gameplay itself needs a lot of work. Passes are good. Um, over the top balls feel like you get a lot of height on them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a bad game. It's not bad, but definitely it's not a FIFA beta. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, please do drop a like and let me know if you are going to go and try Pez. And do you prefer it? Do you prefer Pez? Do you like FIFA? Let me know which one you like in the comment section. And I'll see you on my next video. Team Fuji, I'm a twist.